Muscle Cars Universe. A very Merry Christmas to everyone and thanks for tuning back to Muscle Cars Universe. Just when you all thought my SEMA 2023 content was officially over, I hit you with one last special feature of this intriguing and heavily modified 1968 Plymouth Barracuda. This car has been completely turned around and prepped to take on circuit racing, autocross, gymkhana and any other racing discipline that has corners. Not a simple build to break down, so let's hear it from its own creator, Anthony Collard, aka The Modern Racer, to really understand what makes this Barracuda so special. Oh yeah, that's awesome with the radium tank. This, this one's got built-in pickup pump, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's uh, two pickup pumps and uh, one search tank pump. All right. Um, it's, it's all built in, so you don't have to come anything else, basically. So yeah, it's all in there, it's, right? Yeah, it's really good. So it's a 318, actually. A 318, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the original engine to the car, but I built it uh, 11 and a half to one compression. Um, oh, so very high got, compression. Yeah, yeah. it's... Uh, Cam? It's cammed, it's got the crank and the rods that are stock because they were forged back in the day already um, and then everything else is, is redone in some kind of way so it's got bigger pistons, it's bolted a little bit bigger um, ported and polished heads, titanium and inconel valves Oh yeah, the valves uh, as well, yeah I built uh, the headers, the 4 into 2 into 1 Yeah, we've seen that, yeah equal, It's quite, quite peculiar length. Yeah, and yeah. They're, they're equal length uh, so that they just they just flow super well um, and then um, it's got a girdle in the old sum so that you don't get so much oil searching around and the Penske suspensions with the cartridges separated right yeah. that's, yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool yeah so that's why it's all very responsive we, right yeah we were talking earlier in the year when I was working on the bill and I didn't have the shocks yet uh, and then when they asked me to get the car on the boot, they were like, alright, we'll give you like the full spec. So we did the remote canisters so I can access easily and change the pressures in them, uh, both front and rear. Yeah. Um, and even like the front, you just have to uh, get your hand behind the tire and you can adjust with the knob. Oh, wow, the so it's also easy yeah. to reach, right? Yeah. yeah. And then the one at the back, you get just get through the quarter window and my arm is long enough to access <laughs> it, so yeah. I can completely set it up. Yeah, and but the rear the suspensions, I think, is just the most beautiful beautiful thing yeah. you've done here. So it's a triangulated folding uh, setup under the car. Yeah. So it doesn't have any leaf springs or anything. Uh, same thing, the, the folding, I built it completely custom. Uh, took some measurements, calculated my uh, um, anti-dive and anti squat on the entire car. Uh, and uh, the moment of inertia, so that basically I got the setup that works with the right height of the car. Cool. Um, and then the rockers, um, I designed them, this is version one, I'll probably do a couple more versions in the future. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've designed them so they're they're adjustable so I can uh, change a little bit the ratio of it. Yeah. So that's going to help me dial in a little bit more the suspension. And then by the time I know exactly what I want, like which spring rate I want. Then you just, exactly, lock, you just lock then it. Then I'll just lock everything in. We spec the spring rates to a 2600 pound car yeah and honestly we came up way too harsh it's it's way too high on the spring rate so that's why i've got the adjusters almost all the way down just to get the right height that i wanted for right. the show but after that i'm going to take these out and make new gonna, levers right? yeah so yeah and we're gonna we're gonna corner corner weight the car so that we know exactly what weight i have yeah uh, and then at that point we'll do probably new springs and you know when you have code of us that's the whole point of it is that you can really set up the car uh, to have an equal weight distribution uh, on each tire. Absolutely. Uh, so you can you can really do a good setup with this. So. And you have plexiglass. I can yeah. see all the windows are pretty yeah, much yeah. plastic. There's no, there's no side windows because uh, you know I'm not I'm not really going to drive this on the road very much. True. True. Uh, and definitely not in the rain or winter as much as I can avoid. Yeah. So it's front and rear. Uh, the rear is is uh, I think. Five, six, sixteenths of an inch or something like this. It's, it's about three, four mils. Yeah. And the front is a little bit thicker just because you know it gets hit by hair. So true. Um, but it saves. Yeah, the original glass is like I don't know, 
know, 60, 70 pounds maybe. Yeah, no, I know, like it's, it's pretty heavy, so. especially back then, you know. Yeah. They didn't really care about having lightweight no, cars, no. you know. But these cars weren't that heavy, honestly, back in the day. They were in uh, 2,800 pounds, which is, you know, might have sounded a little bit much at the time, but by now, by today's standards, it doesn't. Uh, and now that it's got pretty much twice the horsepower that it came with, yeah. um, it should be pretty fast on the track. So nah, it's good. You, I mean, the, the engine received the full package as well. Like, it yeah. did the full works, so that's good. Yeah, and... It's, it's not just an exercise of style, but yeah. rather function. Yeah. Know? It's, it's what, what it seems to me. There's a few people that were asking me, like, hey, why didn't you do a modern Hemi or something like this? And I was like, I, I did want to have, like, modern safety gear. But I wanted to have also the experience of like an old school Trans Am. Yeah, so it's yeah. an original four-speed manual transmission. Um, it's the original engine. It's, it's just built a little bit better, a little bit tighter. That's going to drive and that's going to behave like, like an old race car. I wanted to have that visceral experience of the old race car. Sure, I, I totally agree with that. And just the sound of it, you know, a carbureted engine, especially with the exhaust like this. It's Tried like that, pretty, yeah. Pretty cool, so. All right, well, thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. So did you do Gymkhana autocross with this car? So What's the plan? I'm gonna I'm gonna do track days and a little bit of a racing with it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, maybe take it to some like uh, Optima Street cars. Yeah, well, I was gonna say it wouldn't look yeah. out of place, you yeah. know, at the yeah. Optima Challenge. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it to a few events. The plan is to just use it as much as possible, just have some fun with it. Yeah. As you heard it from Anthony himself, this Barracuda has some serious numbers behind it. I'm really glad I was able to bring it to you guys, especially considering that this is one of the most overlooked cars at SEMA 2023. To follow the progresses and epic adventures of Anthony and this cool Barracuda, please have a look in the description below for his social media handle. Thanks for watching as usual. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Merry Christmas again to everyone watching. I'll see you in the next videos, guys. Bye bye.